All right, hello. This is for people who have the AverMedia U3 CV710 and having troubles with the audio. Either you have no audio or you have the stored out audio. This will fix both of those problems. Basically, there are a bunch of updates that need to be done because this card is end of life. So AverMedia no longer officially supports it, but they have released a couple of beta drivers just to get people up and running again for now. So if you get the basic driver from the website under their product page, you'll be able to have a display and be able to capture your game, but you won't have any audio. So then there's a Reddit thread where people like from technical support, they have like a patch version of the driver and it's right here. It's like, it's a Google Drive link, which is kind of sketch, but yeah, it works. So yeah, you want this version. So this is version 126 and the version on their website is 118. So let me get that installed real quick and I'll be right back. Yeah, so I, I'm installing it. I don't think there's anything much to say about it. It might make me restart now that I think about it. So we'll see. Yeah, okay, I'll restart. All right, sorry about that, we're back. Um, as you can see, we have audio. Fun fact, your capture card can actually output audio to your computer speakers, which I learned. This capture card is actually really good because it's like basically no latency. Now this is how you do it. You go to properties, right click properties, and then down here it's, you can output it to your desktop. Yeah, so that's what it sounds like. Yeah, so if you listen to it, it's, uh, it is pretty distorted. So we solved the no audio problem, but now we have the distorted audio problem. So there's a thread in the OBS website talking about a fix. It's basically you run some like latency checker for your audio and it just, I guess since they're constantly pulling the audio or something like that, it makes it so that it's no longer distorted. Um, it's this program. I, I don't know if it's, Softpedia is like relatively reliable. And you probably won't get a virus, so up to you if you want to trust it. This is not the, the final fix, but let me just try it right now and see if it still works. I have it. In, I installed it last time. Okay, yeah. So I think it sounds uh pretty good actually. Now that I, then I listen back to it. Option two is they took the driver from the Live Gamer Extreme 2 and told the CV710 to use this driver instead. The instructions are a bit, I mean, they're pretty straightforward, but I'll show you how to do it. So we want to go to the downloads page. Uh, drivers, it's version 132. This one says, yeah, 132. So you download it from there. All right, so <laughs> this is how to follow instructions step by step. So... We have, we extracted the folder and we have this exe file and you need seven zip for this. Uh, I'll link in the description and then you can extract to this folder. So yeah, there are a bunch of files in this exe file and you can extract it to this own folder using seven zip. So there are a bunch of files here. You want the INF file, which is this one. And then you want to go to device manager. It's, it's under sound video game and controllers. This one right here. And then right click update driver, browse my computer, and then search for drivers in this location. I've done this before, so it knows where it is, but yes, it's the folder that we just extracted. Okay, include subfolders, and then let me pick this one, and then uh, you click have disk. So yeah, you can see these are the, this is the first one we installed, this is the second one we installed, and then if I click have disk, I can browse to the file. Just the INF file. So you have to find the folder that you just got, and then the INF file is right here. And you click OK. And you can see Extreme and then Extreme 2. So these are the drivers for the these separate products, and we want the Extreme 2, not the Extreme. Click Next, and not recommended, but it works, so we'll take it. <laughs> And there you go. Uh, I have to restart, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, the game kind of disappeared because we have to select the device again because it's no longer the U3. It's treated as the GC551. And there you go. There it is. Here's the audio. You should hear it fine if you capture like this. Okay, yeah. So there you have it. 
two different ways to get the audio back working. I think this way is more convenient since you don't have to keep opening a separate program. Hopefully this helps somebody out. I have a couple of other capture cards I'm testing out that hopefully won't have this problem, but we'll see if their uh, quality matches up to this thing. But yeah, that's all for this one. Uh, take care and I'll see you in the next one.